recently. I have to put this out because it's, it's an issue that's on my plate and I'm here in front of you. So we've been coming out and this is Memorial Day, it's perfect. You've got Benghazi, you've got American, you've got SEALs there, but it's the American military member, the American ethos standing for what is right for their countrymen. You've also got three months after we got bin Laden, extortion 17. Is everybody familiar with that? If you are not, ask somebody. If you know of it, tell somebody. These are issues that are very important that are not being seen by mainstream media. They're, quell they, they're, they're squashing it. But you see on the internet, you see everybody who's aware of what's going on, they know of it. Um, government cover-ups. We just want an investigation into 31 American service members, 20 SEALs on board that went down on one chopper. We have the documents, we have the facts, we have the after-action reports, we have everything. And it's on the people who sent them on that mission, the people who are coming for your Second Amendment rights. We're trying to get the word out, and today we've got Charlie Strange over here. He's the father of one of the brave SEALs who was on that helicopter. And if you guys can, it's not only appreciation for him, now what can we do to help him to get, to keep America strong, to keep military where it is, the ethos in the Army is the last bastion of Americanism left. So if you have questions, if you have anything, he's over there, ask him for that. All right, we've got a minor disruption in our, uh, in our scheduled program, but uh, under the circumstances, with it being Memorial Day weekend, I don't think you guys are gonna mind too much. I've just been asked uh, to let somebody up here to say a few words. This gentleman's son was one of the ones that was um, killed in SEAL Team 6. So, Charles Strange. Hello everybody, uh, my name's Charles Strange. My son was Michael Strange, a uh, Philadelphia guy. Uh, Michael rose through the ranks in the What's Navy. The uh, the mic, Charlie. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yeah. All right. My son was Michael Strange. He was part of the elite Navy SEAL team. He was killed August 6, 2011 in extortion 17. It was 93 days after killing bin Laden. Uh, I was down in Dover and, uh, in August of 2011, and I met uh, our president, and uh, he came up to me, and he put his arms on my shoulder, and he said, Michael, change the way America lives. And I said, Mr. President, and I grabbed him by the shoulders. And I said, I don't need to know about my son. I need to know what happened. And the Secret Service guys grabbed me, and... Uh, I whispered in the president's ear, I said, um, Mr. President, is there going to be a congressional in inquiry? And I could feel the president's lips touching mine. He said, Mr. Strange, we're going to look into this very, very deep. And I haven't heard nothing yet. And what I'm asking is for everybody to stand behind us. My son fought for this country, and uh, we need support for Extortion 17. It was the biggest loss in the military. Twenty-two SEAL Team Six guys, eight National Guards. They had eight Afghan National Army guys on there, and they don't know their names. Do you think these guys, the most elite team in the world, would just fly with anybody? Their names weren't on the manifest. There was no eye in the sky watching this helicopter go into the Tangine Valley. Not to give me no answers. Nobody to be held accountable for the biggest loss in the Afghan war? You gotta be kidding me, Mr. President. Our Vice President, Joe Biden, after killing Bin Laden down in Delaware with a half a load on at the Carlton Ritz Hotel, announced, announced to everybody in the world who killed Bin Laden. From that day, he put a mark on my son's back. The Taliban, 
wrote on the internet that they're going to kill everybody related to the SEAL Team 6 and their bloodline. And nobody does nothing? And they want to take away your arms? Here in this country? Come on. We all have to stand together. We all got to fight the fight. You know, this is America. You know, this is what my son fought for, for our freedom, for our Constitution. Yeah. Not to be changed, you know. And I'm asking for everybody's support. You'll see us on uh, a few television stations, quite a few radio stations. And uh, to get this congressional inquiry, if you know your congressman or any of them politicians, you know, uh, we need support. We're going to Washington again. We already filed in the Supreme Court in Florida. But somebody's got to be held accountable. Somebody's got to answer for this, you know. They gave, me, they gave me a book. They gave me a book with no ink in it. I was asking questions. They said, Mr. Strange, it's in the book. It's in the book. It's in the book. Where's the after action report? It's in the book. They give me this book, and you can't read it. There's no ink. I know, I know the government's doing bad, but please, you know. They told me they couldn't find the black box, which is really orange. Them planes go down in Florida in the Everglades and they find the black box. You tell me in Afghanistan you can't find the black box? They told me a, that a, a rainstorm washed the black box away. You got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. 30 of our sons got killed. You know? I want some answers. A lot of the other families are standing up. Billy and Karen Vaughn, the Hamburgers. And uh, more families are coming out, and uh, we got support from some people, and uh, we'll be in Washington next week when we're filing these papers. We, we need some answers with this, what's going on with all these leaks with our government, you know? And Boston, and you know, everything that's going on here in this country. God bless you all, thank you.